What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com with a question for me. It comes from my man, Taylor. Hey Mark, basically I decided on doing a weird method of cutting, which is a reverse cut diet, a reverse diet cut. The fuck? That's like a reverse cowgirl, isn't it? You know, where you're like, do, 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 doing your thing. Where I started myself on low macros, 140 carb, 55 protein, 190, 55 fat, 190 protein. Every five pounds I lost, I added 20 carbs back in my diet. This works wonders, but what's going to happen now though is I will hit a macro range where I cannot increase carbs to lose weight. So I'll just stagnate. The good thing though, my cardio is only at a one hit session and one 30 minute LISS session a week if that helps. What do you suggest I do when this happens to me? Slowly increase cardio or decrease my food back down slowly? Situation I'm in is not a game. The situation you're in is just something fucking stupid. What a fucking potato ass move that is. Why would you fucking start low when your metabolism's up here, start down here, fucking crush it, and then add shit back in? Getting where you could have started and lowered slowly, ending at a lower calorie base than you were when you started. You're obviously gonna have to lower calories. It's not, you can't fucking beat physics. You can't fucking beat fucking evolution. You can't fucking trick your body that much. I mean, I do some magical shit with dieting. I have this client, David, right now, who's literally gaining lean mass and losing fat. Sometimes you find that magic spot, that magic stick. I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. So you find the fucking magic stick, right? Sometimes you just get it. It's one of those fucking once in a fucking decade things, right? You fucking hit it, right? What you're doing is just fucking potato, man. It's a fucking potato move. You know, you're... you're, you're you're starting, you're doing what essentially is a bulk. The fact you're still losing weight means that you fucking blew your wad and crashed your metabolism from the beginning. The goal is to start your calories way up fucking high. That's why bodybuilders bulk, right? And then decrease them slowly, as slow as possible while still losing weight. If you fucking do it the other way, your body's just, it's just fucking wrong, man. So what you should do is you're at that higher calorie level now, start decreasing slightly and then ease into a lean bulk where you gain 0. 0.5 to one pound a week. And then when you get your body fat into about the 13 to 15% range, cut back down again, nice and slow, one to two pounds a week. But don't go full potato and do it in reverse, man. You're not that cool. You can't fucking just rewrite history like that. I'm sorry, dieting's, it's not very difficult. I mean, it is, obviously I, am, I, I recommend usually employing a coach, not because I'm a coach, don't fucking hire me if you don't want to. But I think people get better results when they're held accountable and there's someone to adjust their macros for you because you're not objective with yourselves. So you're very subjective. Me, I panic. I always think I'm fat. I'm fucking like 5% body fat now. I'm still fucking thinking I'm fat in the mirror, right? So that's why I recommend getting with a coach, even if it's not me. But at the end of the day, man, what you did there, I don't understand. You started at fucking 140. I mean, that's like one calorie. That's fucked up, man. Just get back into it. Start doing it right. Hire a coach. Yeah. A fucking reverse diet cut. What the fuck is that? It's not a game. Boom!